imagination station on hand. We have Jeff Stevenson with us. He's been a scientist there now for four years. You ne we never know what you guys are going to bring sometimes. You're always highlighting what's going on there at the imagination station when you come in. First off, good morning. Thanks for coming. Good morning. How's it going? You, good, I think. I don't know. I, this yeah, you're, is, I'm decked you're, out You're right decked now. out right now. So, you know, you're right. We are always doing different things at imagination station. So I figured we'd get started because we have Rocket Week happening this week. So I figured the best thing I could do is go ahead and just build a rocket. You can keep your goggles off right okay. now. It's just going to be a single rocket. So I'm going to put a little uh, sodium bicarbonate in there. I want okay. you to take this and put your hand out like that. All right, perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing with mine. Okay. All right, and we don't want to aim it at our oh. face. <laughs> okay, so that's a little rocket. You can do this it, at home. That is, okay. All it is, it's a film canister, mm -hmm. and it's a, uh, a little uh, Alka-Seltzer. So that's water, water? Alka-Seltzer film canister, right? Very cool, easy science you can do at home, and we're doing it um, all Rocket Week along with a bunch of other rocket activities. So, well, what else does this weekend tell for those who plan to travel out to the Imagination Station? If you're coming out the weekend, you're going to want to see the Water Rocket Challenge. So that's our big, souped-up Water Rocket, uh, two-liter bottle rocket event. Oh, okay. So in order to kind of celebrate that, I decided instead of doing two rockets that I would have you do 50 rockets all at once, okay? You heard him right, so, 50 rockets all at once. 50 rockets all at once. So I'm gonna scooch this over here. I love okay. science. This and, is <laughs> yeah, and this is so great because those little those little pellets inside of there, uh -huh. they're basically, here, just wanna take these right here all right. and just throw them inside of my water beaker. Just throw, just throw them in, all of them, there. Oh but what they're doing God. is they're constantly fizzing, releasing a gas, mm -hmm. okay? And that's causing pressure to build up in that rocket. And that pressure's gonna cause it to eventually explode out the weakest point, which is the bottom. So I have all the bottoms facing up, mm -hmm. but I've got a nice little magnet set up where I can click them all into place and so okay. now that is armed and ready to go yeah. all right so this one's yours and this is mine y yes okay. and you're gonna just hold on to it just like that now here's the important thing I'm gonna put I'm gonna I'm gonna help you put your goggles back on all right here let's help you with that because you're already armed and ready to go are if you, you good? can't tell I'm a little nervous yeah don't don't, don't be nervous okay. don't be nervous it's just 50 rockets okay <laughs> now what you're, what you're gonna do is when you do this you're gonna flip it away from you and hold it straight up okay okay and I'm, I'm gonna be like ducked over here because I don't want to be in the aim realm of fire you ready I think so. Three, two, one, flip it. All right, and then just wait. What's happening is all that sodium bicarbonate is combining with the citric acid, combining a chemical reaction, releasing carbon dioxide, and that carbon dioxide eventually is gonna expand so much that it can't be contained inside of these rockets. Yes, excellent, yes, excellent, high five, high five, oh, <laughs> we got hit by, all right, let me, let, me, let me disarm this last one, there we go, there we go, excellent, so you can see that there's all kinds <laughs> of leftover Alka-Seltzer there that's been all dissolved and everything like that. I do hope management is not watching this morning, hope they're not catching this, don't call them if um, they're not, nonetheless, will kids be able to get hands-on experience there with these rockets? Oh yes, they, they are going to be doing the entire engineering process, right? So we basically just give them two liters and some cardboard and foam and they come out with the rocket and then we just provide the device that launches it. So it's completely up to their engineering process. They can try it again, there's prizes to be won and it's free to do the challenge with the price of admission. So. Jeff, thank you so much. We're not quite done with the Imagination Station yet. You're joining us for our 6.30 half hour, moving outside for whatever they have in store for us at that time. But next up, here on NBC 24 today. Gary Corgan is joining us next to tell us all about how parents, how you can get all the knowledge that you need to help your kids as they get back to school. We're gonna learn about Parents University, that and so much more right here on NBC 24 today.